Sky Eye was over Gillette Stadium tonight. The facility will become the state's first mass vaccination site. As WBZ's Christina Rex reports, the site will be capable of administering thousands of vaccines. To start, Gillette Stadium will be able to accommodate up to 300 shots a day, eventually working its way up to 5,000 vaccines a day. The big hope on the horizon is the arrival of more vaccines. The state's first mass vaccine site at Gillette Stadium. Starting Monday, first responders can come here to get their shots. It's very hard for us to make predictions about where we're going to be a month from now. Massachusetts is following a specific guide while distributing this vaccine. Right now, we're here with first responders getting vaccinated after healthcare workers in nursing homes already got their shots. And we're still months away from the public getting their vaccine. So altogether, it was five hours. The Nadels split their time between Massachusetts and Florida. The couple in their 80s got their vaccines this week in Florida because the state is flipping the plan, allowing all senior citizens to come get a shot first. So far, that's overwhelmed the system. And on the phone every day for hours, literally, and on numerous websites, none of which had an appointment available. Still, the Nadels finally found a way to get a shot. And even after getting vaccinated in Florida, they believe Massachusetts actually has the right approach. I'm much more in favor of the Massachusetts rules, even though I feel blessed that I'm here and, and could get it. Do doctors agree? Or should Massachusetts bump people 65 and older even higher on the list? The problem is, and I think we've seen this in Florida, is that when you just say anyone over 65 is eligible for a vaccine, and that's a population of 10 million people, but you only have a million doses, how do you give a million doses to 10 million people? I think the Massachusetts approach is one that was meant to be more balanced. Governor Baker says any changes would come from the state's vaccine board. But for now, he'll stick with the original plan. Um, I think the recommendations that was made by our group are appropriate. And... Uh, and I think folks over the age of 75 are part of the beginning of group two. Here at Gillette, employees will start getting their shots on Thursday, and then first responders can start coming here on Monday. In Foxborough, Christina Rex, WBZ News.